Hurricane Ian, Category 4, making its way ashore in southwest Florida. This is the part of the peninsula referred to as southwest Florida. If you've ever vacationed at Captiva, Sanibel Island, Fort Myers Beach, you've been to southwest Florida. You can see the outer edges of that eye wall coming in right across Captiva, Sanibel Island right there. It's going to make its way across Pine Island, move through. Cape Coral, likely it's going to do some devastation all the way up towards Port Charlotte, Punta Gorda. But what we refer to as the dirty side of that hurricane, that is that onshore wind. Very strong winds. Winds in excess of 155 miles an hour, making it a very strong Category 4. Wind gusts approaching almost 200 miles an hour. And that is going to push a lot of water into southwest Florida. This area of the peninsula is extremely flat. We're going to talk a little bit more about the surge here in just a moment, uh, but also pointing out that this will weaken just a little bit by later tonight, 8 p.m. Expect to be only Category 3 as it moves east of the Sarasota area. It'll continue up the peninsula towards Orlando, continuing to weaken. Now, taking a look at that potential storm surge flooding, those areas highlighted in red, that is upwards of nine feet or even greater. Uh, there have been some expectations of a storm surge close to 16, 12 to 16 feet. It is going to reach well into the Caloosahatchee River. There's I-75. This is the exit route. Uh, for Southwest Florida. Everybody is heading north right now, but all of Fort Myers, there's Fort Myers Beach. You can see the islands, all of them expect to be inundated with incredible amounts of rainfall as well as that storm surge. And this is Cape Coral. This area of this area of Southwest Florida has uh, the most extensive canal system uh, in the world. There's more miles of canal in Cape Coral than anywhere else. In fact, you can move from the middle of Cape Coral to the Gulf of Mexico by boat because of that canal system. That is going to help alleviate some of the storm surge there. But, uh, it, but regardless, it is still going to be an incredible amount of uh, flooding. Also, I wanted to point out to you that uh, having lived there for six years, the actual house I lived in, these areas of Florida, they actually build their houses elevated. So they take the dirt and the soil from along the roadway and they push it and they build your house basically on a very large berm, if you will. So this house here is a good six to maybe even eight feet above the street level. So if you were standing at the mailbox, you would be looking at the bottom of your front door because they build it elevated to take care and to uh, help alleviate some of that flooding. However, these, uh, storm, uh, this storm surge is going to be very, very extensive for this part of the state. And on top of all that, heavy rainfall right across the I-4 corridor from Tampa all the way to Daytona Beach. Rainfall expectations anywhere from 8 to 12 inches. So this storm is uh, going to prove to be very, very devastating for southwest Florida as well as much of the peninsula. Back to you.